everybody, welcome back to the channel. Jean here with more Mars Anomalies and Artifacts. This time we're checking out two enormous blocks that I discovered in the Northern Hemisphere and Southern Hemisphere of Mars. Dorsa, Argentia and Moreau respectively. So let's get cracking on. We'll be checking out two high-rise photographs here. The first one is called Crater and Ridge in Dorsa, Argentia, acquired on the 22nd of October 2007 at 50.2 centimeters per pixel. There's the anomaly. This is from the low-res black and white, and uh, we'll be checking that out in high-res. The site is located 77.2 degrees south, 324.56 degrees east. And uh, it's in this region they call Dorsa Argentia. Here's the anomaly zoomed out, not to scale. And check out this rather unusual occurrence of uh, a circular depression. And inside it we've got that rectangular block so there it is zoomed up one to one scale and uh, this thing measures about 90 meters across guys and girls and uh, you can see from the shadow that's being cast and the highlighted area here to the left that the sun is shining in from the left to right and this is definitely raised above the surface so what they could be looking at there? Could it be some type of ancient structure that's uh, eroded away? Could it have been some type of landing pad or some type of base structure? Who knows what that is? And then we're analyzing central peak of Moreau Crater, acquired on the 25th of May 2014 at 59.9 centimeters per pixel. And uh, there's the anomaly also in the circular depression. And uh, this is a crop from the low res black and white. The site is located 41.72 degrees north, 44.50 degrees east. In uh, that circular depression, Moreau Crater. And uh, there it is zoomed out. This is in high res guys and a uh, one-to-one -one scale actual size and uh, that rectangular block measures about 300 meters long check out the straight sides and right angles again and this strange uh, bevel that's been uh, carved into the surface over there parallel with those two sides also from uh, the shadows and highlights we can see that's a raised object so what the heck are we looking at yeah and there the two are for comparison look at the similarities we've got uh, these circular depressions and uh, these huge rectangular blocks located in the top left corner of each of these uh, depressions also out yeah, to the side, uh, the strange uh, straight edge over there makes me wonder if that wasn't some type of uh, ramp uh, to allow access in and out of that circular depression. So are these placed here for protection with these uh, circular walls around them? Or is there some other cultural or spiritual significance? Who knows? So let's check out the first anomaly down in the southern hemisphere as well as some of the other artifacts in the vicinity. So there's the photograph, Crater and Ridge in Dorsa Argentia. And uh, there's the rather strange anomaly and it's very very close to this other site that NASA calls uh, Inca City and this is also where I discovered these strange uh, landforms these are also huge check out that uh, cross and that strange uh, s-shaped 
structured there. And then we've got, uh, this is uh, what NASA refers to as the Inca City, with these uh, massive walls. Check out the right angles and uh, parallel sides of here. And uh, inside we've got these dark patchy anomalies. Um, you know, that looks almost like uh, plant life to me, but NASA says that's caused by some type of sublimation, if I'm not mistaken. And it's also surrounded by uh, what NASA calls these uh, spiders. So let's check out the second anomaly to zoom out there. So that's down in the south, and uh, then the one in the northern hemisphere. And it's in the circular depression that's called Moreau. There's the anomaly right there. And it's from the photograph, central peak of Moreau Crater. So let's check out some of the other anomalies around here. That's where uh, I found that strange structure that looks like a toppled Mayan statue. Check out the face over there. We've got the eye, the nose, and the mouth. Yeah, over there. And then uh, some megalithic slabs, lots of right angles and parallel sides. And uh, that strange uh, pillar like anomaly over there with these round symbols or glyphs on it. Also, this is where I found uh, those two obelisk type anomalies. These are about uh, 12 meters long. We've got the apex over there. We've got two sides visible. And uh, this one, it's got a flat side to it over there. And also, this looks like a circular depression that's been carved into it. So that looks like some type of venting system. That looks like a piece of sheet metal, maybe a megalithic slab with a protrusion or knob on it. Two layered objects over there. Check out the V slots in each. And uh, it's also got a protrusion or knob on it. And it looks like these two were cut to fit together. Okay, over here we've got a rather strange uh, triangular piece sticking off that one side. A little pyramidal object over there. And then uh, a triangle that's been carved into that piece. Okay, yeah, close by we've got what looked like discs, metallic debris, check out the triangle over there in that pattern, those three protrusions, strange carved piece, look at that rounded shape, it's got like a uniform depth to it, strange rudder like anomaly over there, Quarter disc, lots of those on Mars. Two interlocking parts there. Check out the rectangle design over there. Each one's got a protrusion or knob on it. Another polygonal object over there, very symmetrical. You can see one, two, three, four of the sides. More blocks, check out that triangular object with that uh, smaller one right there in its apex. Looks like a sarcophagus. The alignment of those uh, small protrusions or knobs on that is also unusual. Got that perfect little disc in the center of that square object there. Another little classic UFO type shaped anomaly. 
Another L shaped piece there. There we've got another triangle in that pattern. This is also weird. I found two of these. This large uh, slab, this uh, little triangle in its center on the one side. It's got the symmetry in that shape. There's another one of those chevrons that I found. I found about five that looked similar to this. Another partial hexagonal shape there. And uh, there's a block with what looks like an eye carved into the surface. Another little triangle on top of that. Another strange uh, sarcophagus shaped anomaly there. Little pyramidal object. There's another one very similar to that one. Another one of those uh, strange craft shaped objects there. Right, another disc, dome in the center, and then two parts separated by an equal distance there. That's rather weird. Found lots of those too. Another one of those uh, hexagonal shaped objects, symmetry and geometry in that. Typical little discs with domes on them. Long narrow object. Also found lots of those on Mars. There's another triangular pattern on that one. Got that block, this rounded piece sticking off on the side. There's another one that looks like that in Asimov. And this is where I found that huge bright disc. That's almost 15 meters in diameter. That's it for this one, folks. I hope you found it informative and interesting. Let's have a chat in the comments below. I always read all your comments. Thank you to everyone that participates. All my viewers and subscribers, thank you for your support. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.